Hey there, you beautiful people of the internet. Buckle up because Google has just dropped a bombshell at their recent Google I.O. event. And it's the kind of bombshell that makes creative sparks fly. Meet Vio, Google's brand spanking new AI that's ready to turn your video dreams into pixel perfect reality. Now here's the kicker. Unlike its elusive cousin Sora, Vio isn't playing hard to get. You can actually hop onto the waitlist for Vio to use it. We're gonna dive into the demos and see how Vio stands toe to toe with Sora and the rest of the AI video generator gang. Plus, Google's got some extra goodies in the oven, like storyboarding tools that'll give you a sneak peek into the future of video crafting. Stick around, cause we'll circle back to that juicy bit in just a bit. Let's get started. First, we'll start off with a short clip from their keynote where they introduce Google Vio. I love some of the quotes throughout the address. Mm. I'll just play the key moments, not the entire clip. Today, I'm excited to announce our newest, most capable generative video model called Vio. Vio creates high quality 1080p videos from text, image, and video prompts. It can capture the details of your instructions in different visual and cinematic styles. You can prompt for things like aerial shots of a landscape or time lapse, and further edit your videos using additional prompts. You can use VO in our new experimental tool called Video FX. We're exploring features like storyboarding and generating longer scenes. VO gives you unprecedented creative control. Techniques for generating static images have come a long way, but generating video is a different challenge altogether. Not only is it important to understand where an object or subject should be in space, it needs to maintain this consistency over time, just like the car in this video. Vio builds upon years of our pioneering generative video model work, including GQN, Banaki, Walt, VideoPoet, Lumiere, and much more. We combine the best of these architectures and techniques to improve consistency, quality, and output resolution. To see what VO can do, we put it in the hands of an amazing filmmaker. Let's take a look. Well, I've been interested in AI for a couple of years now. We got in contact with some of the people at Google and they had been working on something of their own. So we're all meeting here at Google Farms to make a short film. The core technology is Google DeepMind's generative video model that has been trained to convert input text into output video. <laughs> it looks good. We are able to bring ideas to life that were otherwise not possible. We can visualize things on a time scale that's 10 or 100 times faster than before. When you're shooting, you can't really iterate as much as you wish. And so we, we've been hearing that feedback is that it allows for like more, more optionality, more iteration, more improvisation. But that's what's cool about it. It's like you can make a mistake faster. That's all you really want at the end of the day. At least in art, it's just to make mistakes fast. So using Gemini's multimodal capabilities to optimize the model training process, VO is able to better capture the nuance from prompts. So this includes cinematic techniques and visual effects, giving you total creative control. Everybody's gonna become a director, and everybody should be a director. Because at the heart of all of this, it's just storytelling. The closer we are to being able to tell each other our stories, the more we'll understand each other. These models are really enabling us to be more creative and to share that creativity with each other. And that's the segment of Google's keynote about VO. What did you think? Now, let's take a minute and examine these demos of theirs more closely. I thought this one here is fantastic. It starts with a strong flyover shot of a neon city. The buildings are very consistent. Then it accelerates and a car appears. There's some morphing and blurriness, but the car's consistency and driving physics are excellent. The next part is the most impressive to me. The ability to transition through different scenes while maintaining consistency is far beyond other video models. It's a bit blurry and not high definition because the scene changes rapidly. The car speeds through. And then there's this cool tunnel. 
When it exits the tunnel, we see other cars with great consistency and high detail, along with buildings in the background. This is amazing, especially considering how the scene started and what it went through to get here. Here's the prompt they used. It's quite basic, but they prompted each part of the scene and it nailed it. They have to emphasize that this video hasn't been altered, especially given Google's history. We don't know how selective this is. There were probably many generations to get this output. But no matter how many times you run a prompt like this through other video models, it would be impossible to get anything close to this. It's still a level below Sora, but it's a significant improvement from the models we have access to. And from what I've read, Sora will be very expensive if we ever get access to it. So this will be the best video model we can use, which I'm really excited about. Let's check out the others. This jellyfish has solid physics and detail. Although they wrote deep ocean in the prompt, it looks near the surface. This time lapse of a water lily opening is almost perfect, except it cuts a little short, but it looks great. This horse in the sunset is amazing. All four legs are walking accurately. The head and tail movement looks authentic, although there's still a tendency for slow motion, which happens with all video generators. Now, this is a good shot of a spaceship. It kind of misses part of the prompt, like stars streaking past it. So that's an indication of where this model is with prompt adherence. But it's a good output either way. I know I'm finding ways to criticize these, but they are incredible. That's just the state of AI video right now. It's never perfect. You need to acknowledge the limitations to find the best ways to use them. All right, this kebab on a grill is solid. The flames and smoke look natural, although you can get this quality from other video models. This panning shot in a mountain landscape is great. Again, this could be done with other generators. This golden retriever, on the other hand, is an amazing shot. The tail wagging looks natural, and the scene's consistency is good. You can see through the leaves a bit on the side at the beginning. It looks consistent with what it showed before. That's often an issue with other tools. Let's check out a scene with an actual person in it. This part can be really challenging. Anyone with some AI video or AI image generating experience knows fingers are a challenge sometimes for these tools. I did notice that this is the only scene showing a person in all the example clips, and there's barely any action. That's not a good sign in my opinion. Is Google VO hiding something? Time will tell. The clip does do a great job of sticking to the script though, and the woman's face stayed to the same all the way through. However, her hand seems to change shape a bit when she moves. I'm thinking there might be some problems when creating videos of people in motion. This is often a big hurdle for video creation software, and I bet they would have shown us more if they had nailed it. The only other clip of a person on their site has their face hidden by smoke. Though admittedly a cool effect, again, are they trying to hide some weakness in their generation capabilities? Let me know what you think in the comments. Then there's the clip of someone walking away, shown in the main presentation video, but it doesn't really test the boundaries of what's possible. You'll find a few more clips on their website worth watching. The video of the balloon figure dancing is top notch, and the turtle swimming below the surface, the way the light hits its shell is super convincing. And they've got this first person view of a mountain biker zooming through a canyon that's pretty awesome. Oh, and you've got to see the crocheted elephant. It's incredibly well done. Definitely one of the standouts for me. If you're eager to join the waitlist, just head over to their site. I'll make sure to drop a link in the video description for you. Once you're there, hit the join our waitlist button and breeze through the quick form. I can't wait to dive in and start using this myself. It's pretty interesting that they've only shown off examples that are super realistic. You won't find any cartoons, 3D or abstract art styles in there. I'm really curious to play around and see what it's capable of in those areas. They're rolling out a platform that combines image, video, and music creation, which is pretty cool. Plus, they're including storyboarding tools, which I'm excited about. I'm all for tools that give us more freedom to craft stories, not just pretty images. Runway ML and LTX Studio are already great for that. 
VO might seem a bit simple when it comes to control and narrative tools, but the output quality seems top-notch. There's no feature for turning images into videos, so it looks like it's just text to video for now, which is a bit of a letdown. But judging by these demos, it seems like we're getting the best text to video tool out there. We're still in the dark about how long it'll take to create stuff and what the limits are. They've only let us peek at one extended video that hits the one minute mark. The rest of the demos are quick snippets, no more than eight seconds. So that's probably the sweet spot for what we can make right now. Creating those longer one minute pieces must be a heavy lift for the system. My gut tells me they won't unleash the full power to crank out long videos right away. But hey, this is a massive leap ahead and it's going to crack open a whole new world for AI-driven filmmaking. I'm super pumped to get in there and see what I can create. And with that being said, that's all I have for now in regards to Google VO. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And if you liked what you saw and heard today, please give this video a like and subscribe. Please, I'm broke. I kid, I kid. So, till next time folks, stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay awesome.